What is up guys? How's it going? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. We are here for another episode of Terra Enigma Mystery of the Earth. Uh, that's not really what the game's called. It's just called Terra Enigma. But, uh, you know, Terra, Earth, Enigma, Myster Mystery, Mysterious? I don't know. But yeah, we're here because we are also just as confused as the name. Because there's supposed to be some kind of bell in here. Or it's in the forest. I haven't figured out where. But I could have sworn I had heard someone say something about a golden statue. So I'm hoping that I can find something. Because otherwise it was saying in the forest, but I had gone in the forest and I wasn't finding anything other than a looping path when I was there. Obviously, navigating the overworld is not exactly super hard in this game, so it's not like it'll take me long to get back, but I still want to try all my options. God, this looks like it should move. Come on, Zelda maneuvers. No. But yeah, how's everyone doing today? Yeah, still just another day in uh, soon-to-be Trump's America again. I've been spending a lot of, like, the last, like, 36 hours just trying to decide, like... Because if you were to look on my Facebook, on my social media, because that's the only real, other than this, Facebook is the only social media I have. Um, I don't get involved with X, and even when it was Twitter, like, I didn't mess with that, Instagram, all, it's too much, too much. I just stay where all the old people are because I'm old at heart, and also because since Facebook is filled with so many conservatives and boomers, I, I love to talk shit. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. That's basically what I've used social media for since I got into politics. My social media is basically just an outlet for me to argue. But, you know, that does mean that my beliefs have been in the trenches for the last 16 years. And, um, sorry, I'm taking off my work boots. Come on. And I'm not going to lie. Ugh. Why are you... Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Not gonna lie. This election is making me think a little bit. One, because it's the first time where I'm really having to, like... Consider how I talk to conservatives in a, in a brand new way now. Alright, well, let's check the forest. But, you know, I spent a lot of the last four years, like, trying to argue with certain people about, you know, policy and bills and trying to have, like, kind of, you know, let's put it this way, uh, real conversations with people. But, I'm not going to lie, that doesn't seem to be... Just a bunch of empty other cells. Nice. But, um... It's been like that for, like... The last four years, and... You know, now that we're I'm looking at the... The way that people are behaving in the political landscape, it makes me think that... You know, I think for this next election cycle, or presidential cycle, we're gonna have to... Change how we do things again. And now is the time for, it's going to be smarmy time, is what it's going to be for me. I think it's time for smarm and smirk, and a lot of heavy insulting, and a lot of, uh, I'm going to be putting conservatives on the back foot. I'm going to be making fun of them 
very relentlessly. I'm also going to be throwing the word traitor around a lot with them. I'm going to be questioning their patriotism very, very harshly. Because let's face it, whether conservatives want to admit it or not, if you look back at like 17, 17 you know, Alex Jones, 1776 will rise again. I don't think conservatives remember uh, the conservative mindset and like political idea at the time. No, but it said that there was supposed to be an item. They said there was something in here. Okay, that's not the item I was looking for, but I will take it. Oh, never mind. I already got one. Especially after January 6th of 2021, I am. I didn't wield it over the last four years as much as I should have, but now it's going to be. Now it is going. We're going to be all for ridicule and claims of treason. Because as far as I'm concerned, these conservative goons are the farthest thing from patriotic. These guys are a bunch of bootlicking, kneel down to the crown types of people. And they're always using like the, the Revolutionary War is like some sort of event that encapsulates their political philosophy and their mindset. And it's like, no, absolutely not. You guys are the opposite. You guys sit here, like nose down to the ground, lifting it up, only, only lifting your nose off the floor to stick fucking tongue to boot. help came running well I don't see it helping but these conservatives don't stand for a fucking thing they don't stand for freedom they don't stand for like they say they're for freedom but like in what sense their for their version of freedom is stop telling businesses who they can hire and what kind of health care they got to give that's their version of, you know, not wanting to be told what to do. Like, that's their version of freedom. Their version of freedom is, yeah, but what if I just don't have to take care of people as much? That's the only freedom they care about. I'm not actually sitting here trying to make, like, people actually freer. Because they'll sit there doing fucking womb checks and make sure that you're not pregnant because they want to tell you how to, like, have kids. And it's like... If they cared about taking care of kids, and let's say they outlawed abortion, but then... They were, like, upping their child, like, their child care, like, you know, giving helps to single moms or working families who can't afford child. If they were doing stuff like that, we'd be having a different discussion. But that is not what these people want to do, because they, what is, what does George Carlin say? They're not pro-life, they're anti-women. 
I mean, you could have heard it in some of the political messaging of some of the conservatives. Like, there was one of the guys on Fox News. He's like, oh, if I found out that my spouse was voting for the other party, that's basically the same as having an affair on me. It's like, wow, that's... You thinking differently about things than I do is the same as cheating on me. Huh. That is interesting. I will take free money, though. God damn it. These fucking diagonal lines you keep making are brutal. Yeah, so it seems like wrong turns we make lead us back here. Okay, so we're going to try and see what happens if we go down. Damn, bro. Dude was drifting. Right doesn't do it. Left certainly not. So is this a... I am very confused. I feel like I'm onto something, but I'm not onto it at the same time. Yeah, luckily the good thing is I live in the state of Illinois, so as far as, like, most of the rights and shit that people want, like, we'll be fine in our state. We got a nice, uh, a nice blue wall around us that keeps us pretty safe. <clears throat> but I'm definitely going to be looking more into a lot of local politics, and honestly, I think I want to start making sure it stays that way. Now I'm sure people on the right feel the same way about Alabama and Texas and all that shit. Well, Texas at least is a different case, but, you know, a lot of those states like Mississippi and, like, there's a lot of states that are basically drains on the economy. And, you know, it's always the blue areas that are always funding the red. 
and giving them their money to do their little insurrections and all their stupid little bullshits. But you know, Illinois is pretty fucking rad. <coughs> One sec. Sorry about that. Had a little extra fit of cough. Okay, so see, there's there's something. did I get to that one spot that I was just in? No, this is the way out slash the way in. Damn, 412. Beyond Unfortunately, on across other state lines, certain people may not be so lucky. Damn, no. I really don't know what I'm supposed to do. So we're not finding this bell. It said there was supposed to be something in the forest. But I don't know if it means like the thing that I'm inevitably supposed to find. Because that could have been whatever I saw was referring to. The fiends in the forest are the least of my concerns. Okay, can we find any of these mushrooms? Do I need them for anything? God damn it.
So is there anything hiding? Or are these claims about mushrooms unfounded? Can't pass without a permit. Why? It's going way too far back. I'm about to look up where to go. Oh, God damn it. No, it was just a golden statue in the king's room. Yeah, from this from this day forward, conservatives are not. I am making the traitor label stick to them. Because they don't care about any sort of freedom. They don't care about. They don't care about, you know. I don't even know what they care about. They care about owning the libs and like beating wokeness. And it's not like that thief in the fucking dungeon is giving me any hints or anything. The guy who might have been looking for the very thing I'm looking for. A 
all this Luciferian shit. Was even those rooms where I met the king? This whole place is fucking confusing. I hate this place. Place sucks, dude. Do the other suitors have anything useful to say? Okay, no, you go to zero. Nothing different. So I know about this protect bell, but I can't, I can't tell anyone about it. I can't ask about it. Fuck, I'm, I'm lost. I don't know what to do. I explored the forest. I explored this castle. I don't think there's anything left for me to do that I know of. What? Alright guys, well, I think that's going to be it for this episode. I just don't... I just don't know what else to do. I don't know if I want to look up where to go or like what... I'm clearly missing something. This protect bell has to be somewhere. Because I need an object to lead me through the forest. Like that clearly has to happen. Oh, dick. <laughs> we are being assholes. I don't know, guys, but we'll figure it out. We always do. We always figure it out eventually. I just got to press A at everything. But I don't know. They said to talk to castle residents. I don't know if they mean the town residents. Because the castle people ain't saying chit. So. I don't know. Maybe we'll try the town again next time. See if anybody says anything different. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Because see there's this guy here. Who's somebody who knows something. Protect Bell. I wonder where it went after the massacre. Yeah, it's over here. I don't know, man. I don't know what to do, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Like I said, I always do. So, uh, yeah, till next time, y'all. Peace.